Okay, I'm approaching a scrap alley here. Uh, I think I can be haunted by a train coming. It's already now um, about 20 minutes before closing, so I might have an issue here. The train. That's what I'm thinking, so we'll see. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so I ended up uh, uh, taking a low back from yesterday, you seen in my last video. I had a 3,360 pounds, which was actually a really good load. I knew it was good, it was packed in nice. Everything was filled, I filled in, um, you know, whatever void I could fill in, right? So, ended up being uh, 232, so not too bad on that one. Price is still the same as, uh, been like that for about a month about the price about the same they were talking about a, a drop but they never did it so hopefully it was a tariff set uh well, you know helped us keep the price higher or uh change some of the tariffs there uh between canada and U u.s so okay anyways uh we're gonna brother said he sees a fridge so i need to uh figure out what i'm gonna do here how i'm gonna get it um Still got some junk in my van. He said it was a medium-sized fridge, older one, so it's going to be pretty heavy. Okay, so what I might just do to go to my storage, dump, dump off some stuff there. I'm thinking, but we'll see. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I found an appliance last night after I stopped filming. So I'm going to drop this off here. It's a wash machine, very heavy. Now my friend, uh, brother called me. It's got a, it's a fridge on the side of the road, not too far from my house. So I'm gonna throw that in. Let's see if I have my cutter here. Cut it after, I guess. I gotta take the face plate off probably after. So that was a good load there, it was 3,000 pounds on that last load, which is nice, 3360. Okay. Just actually turn that around, take the face plate off. This I can't see the mortar, so if I can't see the mortar, I don't bother. Once you start knocking that basket around, then you start, uh, you know, things falling apart. You know, so I'm saving this, this lawnmower, it's a craftsman, it's a pretty nice shape. I think I could dump this off somewhere to somebody, even for parts. So if it's a nice shape, I'm gonna save them. Maybe like some Craigslist, maybe like 20 bucks each or something. Probably a little bit better than scrap, probably. But okay, let's see if I get the fridge. If I get the fridge in right here, I'll try. Okay, stay tuned. The fridge here. It's actually not really that big, so it's good. gross looking but doesn't stink just a bit moldy smelling a bit but not like some fridges rotten food this one's okay yeah i think i have enough room holy smokes it's heavy In. Okay, it's in. My brother's tip on that one. Okay. Oh, look at 
at that. I got too much room. Sally dish there. Have to come back. I have to come back. I got the rest of it. Too much room in here. I come back. I got a fridge in there, that's why I got no room, but I come push back for sure. We're in the fridge there, I should be able to get it. It's only a few blocks from my area. Who are you? Junk man. Sally dish. Looks like a ten foot dish. Thank you very much. Right, Take care. It's the metal is on the road here. HMS, metal heavy metal. This looks like stainless. Yeah, you have metal? I could take it. Okay, sure, no problem. You know what? Today I go to recycle plant or Richmond. Uh, yeah. So full, sometimes we have a roofing material. Okay. Aluminium and uh, steel yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. I bring I, I, up my home here. Or even let me know I come to the job if I'm not busy. You tell me how much I have. A, I have a big truck too, a 20 yard bin truck. Okay. You know, let me know if you have lots, then... I bring a big truck, or if you have a little bit, I bring a van. Okay, you can have it, and I'll save my time. I, I, okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I just uh, stripped this off. Got the wi whole wiring harness popped out. That's good. Some wire. So I did get this uh, timer. These timers are really good. I'm just gonna figure out how all the, all the little uh, all the relays are here. Or the relays. All the different timer relays. You got all those out. This one's being a little pain. Just another mortar. I see there's a little clips here. Just gotta re readjust the clips a bit. It should come right apart.
So all I want is this thing here. These are all your relays, your brass relays, and then you have your uh, switches, silver switches and all that. Contacts. So actually it's got some pretty good contacts, see there? Actually not too bad. The contacts are pretty good. So that's what I, I save. This is the shred. Here's that little mortar. Get the wire off. See if I can open this mortar up. Built a little different this one actually. It's like a two piece mortar. That's the gear system, which we don't want. This should be where all the copper is. It's a couple tabs here. I just can't get the tabs off. But Okay, that's out. Okay, after holding it in. It's a little inner tabs there, that's all. No big deal. So right in the right in the center there. There it is. This is, these things are fun to take apart for amount of copper on them. It's awesome. And this one's a flexi one. Yeah, see some some come uh, real brittle, and this one's like flexi. Yeah, so this one you gotta take a knife to it. I find take a knife and just cut around the outer edge. You cut right right close. This is just so fun to do. But some some are super easy to come apart. Some are a little bit harder. So just when you work on it, you'll know. There it is. Free copper. Just sitting there to be picked. Okay. Right there, the copper. Okay, I'm gonna get my copper together. I had it in a bag before. It was just for mortars and different things I've been tinkering around with. I'm gonna get, get my scale, so stand by. The scale, that's the scale I found in alley that time. Remember, it was, in, it was sitting in a toolbox. Uh, it's got a couple little cuts of the cords here and there, but I'm gonna tape them up, but it does work. It goes pounds and kilograms. So this one here, 1.6 pounds there it is. I said it to pounds because we deal with pounds yeah uh, in the scrapyard here okay let's tear is Kelly you saying hi Kelly okay this uh, this is all little transformers and mortars probably I would have just do the shred I wouldn't even take them out so this is like like even the ceiling fans like I say I know there's copper in them but a lot of times I just do them in the shed years ago never bothered Let's see what this weighs with the bag. Five pounds right there, right on the money. Five point eight pounds. Right there. It says it scales accuracy to point zero two or something. I don't know if that's two ounces or what it, how they predict it, but that's five point eight pounds right there. Okay, take that off. Let's tear it. I'm usually around 220, 222 maybe with the clothes on. 221.8, pretty accurate there. 
So it works. I was hoping to get one of my cats here. Come on, Callie. Let's see if I can wave my cat. Callie, come on. Come on. Callie, come here. No, no. Callie. Look at here. Look. Callie, look. Look at this. Oh, this one's shy. Anyways, it's working good. So if we had 5.8, so 6.8, 7.2. Yeah, working perfectly. So I got a working scale. Perfect for just doing demonstrations, seeing how much copper, um, different things, but nice nice to get a free scale. Uh, the scale, like I said, was, um, was this goes to uh, 265 pounds, but the one on the internet, on Amazon, goes to 400 pounds and it's like 129 dollars so not very expensive so at any event i might end up buying one of these anyways you know if i want to pick up copper off people and stuff let's see if i can get my cat here i gotcha kitty come on let's no come on kelly, no let's weigh you kelly sit on here sit on come on sit sit kelly put your leg on him here you are sit there you are okay where, where she weighs there 8.4 pounds perfect you like that sit down 8.4 pounds finally and she's tiny I and mean, she's pretty heavy actually but okay so this is added added value it could have been just chucked in the shred you know what i'm saying so i'm taking say six pounds of copper at say three dollars a pound, just that make it average at three dollars. Um, so let's say eighteen dollars for instance, right? Versus five cents a pound. So five times six is only thirty cents. I'm thinking thirty cents to eighteen dollars, right? So that's what I'm saying. A lot of times I threw the stuff in a shred. I still have the steel. The steel gets still recycled. So the actual fact is. I'm only getting five cents a pound for this stuff if I don't take it out of the shred pile. So I'm taking something like I say, good added value. Takes a little time. Here's your yolks, yolk. But I think it takes 0.2 for the scale to register. That's the thing. That's what I find. It doesn't register on really small amounts, but but if you get a little little more amount, then it registers. So I think that's why it says 0.2. Like every skill, even those big commercial skills, you could put a pound on it and might not see a pound. But you put two, three, three pounds on it, you'll see three pounds. But they're not accurate. accurate. There's always a play in there. I know. I remember going to uh, a scrapyard in Vancouver. I stuck a piece of copper on it, heavy, didn't register. And the guy said, "Give me a pound." This yeah, obviously he'll give me a pound because he knows the skill is basically out of pound regardless. But it's out of pound at the first pound, but a second pound will be two pounds. You'll still get your first, you know, that's how it works. It takes a pound to register, but you know, when it's, when it's a uh, higher weight, you get that pound back, right? Okay, happy about that. This is called a, a DigiWay DW65. Goes right up to 265 pounds, 120 kilos. Accuracy to 0 0.2. Uh, bracket 0 0.1 kilograms so 0.2 pounds probably I don't know if that'd be two ounces or 0.2 pounds how they would do it you know it could be four four ounces if you go 0.2 pounds I'm not sure how they're gonna you know because they're going by 0.2 pounds I'm thinking you know it could be out up to four ounces before it registers okay okay we've got a transformer from microwave I find the uh, best spot to hit it is right here, bottom. If you use an axe, right here, have a little hatchet, right on a weld support. I mean, some are a little bit harder, but there it 
is sooner or later gives there it is Some guys will use two transformers and prop it up. It's a way of doing that too, but ideally you have to get both sides out evenly. There it is. So let's see what kind of weight it is. It's a little bit of wire here. Okay, I'm gonna go to my scale. Peel some of paper off, anyways. Just uh, I'm not sure how picky they are. Most of it comes off, actually. Too bad. Okay. It feels like a pound. It feels pretty heavy. I have to see if it's worth doing sometimes it's half aluminum. I'll take this little pound. It says two pounds here, I don't know. I feel like two pounds. It's saying two pounds. Okay. Let me go on my postal scale to see because maybe something's out. It seems like I mean it, it 1.2 and the bigger one. It doesn't register on a small one, see? 1.2, 2 pounds. Let me go on the postal scale and then let's see if it says I can go by ground. I can go by both actually. Okay, stand by. Just to show you, it shows 2 pounds here. It also says exactly 2 pounds and 1 eighth. So it's 2 pounds of copper in, in the microwave. I can't believe it. Microwave uh, transformer. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take one that's half aluminum and I want to see what it weighs because it looks like it's a fairly big windings this is the other one here I, I kind of mangled it I kind of I was experimenting trying to think I could cut with an axe and pry it out but no the method I'm doing is what is the proper method you can do it at 1.6 pounds so it was probably two pounds the other one also but so I think I mean if you can get these transformers you have to break them it's just too much value there. If they only give me 10 cents a pound of transformers here, even if they give me 15 cents a pound, you know, and I got two pounds of copper, plus I got my, my metal still. I still have all the uh, steel. So that steel weighs quite a bit, right? I'm not sure how picky they are with a little bit of tape here and stuff, so. Normally I don't take transformers apart. Just started doing it recently, just thinking, you know, uh, you know, experimenting because if you don't take the time to check, you don't know what the potential is, right? You're thinking, ah, you know, it seems it's hard, but it's not really hard. You saw me do it there. Get yourself a hatchet, a good good hammer, and just you know, get a, a solid surface, concrete surface. Blacktop is is okay too but as long as it's not wood surface wood is too uh too bouncy i'm not sure how picky they are about this tape here if 
anybody can let me know what they think. Should all this tape come off, or is it a big deal? Like some of the stuff is bonding to the material, bonds to the copper. Put in the comments, guys, if you're thinking, should I be cleaning this really good, or is just clean it as best possible, or just leave it? Just get the bulk stuff. Look at this copper, man. Look at that. This kind of reads a little funny sometimes, scale, but but, but I'm on. I'm come on a cobblestone. Which is probably, you know, it, it's tippy. It's, let me go back to zero. Okay. I mean, the scale might not be 100% working, but but the weights are accurate when it works. 3.6 pounds. So you got at least ten dollars worth of copper there, right there. Ten dollars, two little wads. Okay, let me uh, pop another one apart. Um, half aluminum I'm gonna weigh the aluminum see what that weighs and weigh the copper itself and see see if it's worth it for me okay the top is a pretty big winding here it's copper I'm not sure if they're all that thick but anyways I found one that has copper let's uh, change that over Pretty easy. Oh, doesn't want, doesn't want to budge. Oh, so, oh, look at this! There's a winding. There's a wedge in there. Little, little wedge. I didn't notice that last time. Maybe it's just something that's there that I didn't notice. Come on. So it's actually uh, between here. It probably has it. I just didn't notice it or maybe when I pounded it so many times it fell out versus this one went so easy but it's a pretty pretty dice in there pretty good okay now we have our regular winding wire okay let's see Okay, just use the two transformer method. Just, just did it that way, so because not everybody has two transformers, right? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Like that. And then you can just bang it off. Okay, here it is. So this one's copper. We clean this mess up after. Okay, aluminum. See, this will classify you'd have to clean this really good. This dirty aluminum, I'm not sure. I would just as long as you 
clean paper off really good, I guess. Okay, let's see now. Took a transformer, see what it where it weighs. I'm thinking about six, seven pounds. I don't know, it's pretty heavy. Could be. Okay. Transformer weighs 6.8 pounds. Six point eight seven pounds maybe I don't know. Okay, this is aluminum windings here. Okay, it doesn't register on that, so oh one point four pounds. Wow. Hmm. Even though it's um cop like half and half. So we got one point four. So it weighs what four point four Oh, so point two, sorry, point two. Okay, let me just um figure here. So we have you know this this weighs seven. Okay, see so it's up and down the scale. See seven pounds. Let me let me just do a little paperwork here. So that would be worth seventy cents at ten cents a pound. Seventy cents. But so, some windings. Hmm, it's similar. I guess it was since the hammer it went bigger, but okay. Let me just see exactly what it is on the other scale because I know that's one hundred percent accurate. I don't care about the steel weight, but you know you, you're gonna have still uh, five and a half pounds of steel, right? Yeah, five and a half pounds of steel. So you still got fifty-five cents, right? So that means you got a pound of co over a pound of copper. That's only giving you, um, say three dollars. We'll just say it's three dollars, just as a, as a figure. So, so I'm getting twenty cents. No, no, fifty-five. So fifteen cents, really. So I'm getting fifteen cents for this pound of copper. Over a pound of copper, fifteen cents. I'm like they'd be getting three dollars. So I'm way ahead automatically. You can see I'm three dollars ahead right off the bat. And you saw me. It just only it only takes me just a couple minutes, say five minutes even. And then you have this this aluminum. Uh, you can still throw it in the aluminum pile. I guess if you just clean it up a little bit better, right? Clean up with a knife, put a knife across it a bit. But let me just get the exact figures here, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, got all the totals here. Aluminum. Aluminum weighs six and a quarter ounces. Copper, the second winding. I don't know which one's first or second, whatever. It's a, it's a top winding. Bottom is usually copper, but this one's aluminum. So, top winding is copper. I have one pound and three quarter ounces of copper. So we have a total, total here. Okay, so if we do the math here, if I have a transformer, I get 10 cents a pound, seven pounds, and I get 70 cents for a complete transformer. That's steel, copper, aluminum together. If I break the copper apart off the aluminum, I get $3.58 based at $3 a pound. Right now it's a little bit lower, but we'll base it at an average. Because number one or number two copper was like three twenty not too long ago, so now it's be below three dollars. But let's base it at three dollar just to make it simpler. So basically, this copper here at three dollars pounds worth three dollars and fifty eight cents. Okay, and if we're looking at the aluminum, uh, aluminum I rounded it off. It was like nineteen cents, but I made it twenty cents at fifty cents a pound. That's more like 45 cents or 48 cents right now. Let's say 48 cents. So there's a little discrepancy there, but just give you a rounded figure. So it's, you get some rounded figures here. So aluminum weighs six and a quarter ounces. Then we have the five and a half pounds of steel left behind based on those calculations. And, and I'm seven cents for steel, rounded off to 30, 38 cents. So for the ground to grand total splitting everything up it's worth four dollars and sixteen cents 
that's copper, aluminum, steel. Or if you sell it the way it is, at my price at 10 cents a pound is only 70 cents. So, you know, I'm, I'm at least five or six times I'm getting more just taking apart. You've seen what it took. The effort was very little. You need a hatchet, a good hammer, you just got to hit it. And like I said, that one, since it, it opened up so fast, there's a couple of little wedges in there. So, four dollars, 16 cents, complete, stripped apart with steel cost and everything. Your steel could go down a little more, depends, your price could go down a little more, but based on what this transformer is for the weights, copper wise, aluminum weights, anyways, well worth it man, I just can't believe it, uh, all these transformers, even half the winding, I didn't think there'd be that much in there, I thought maybe, huh, go this way sweetie, mm. we get no problem, so, like I said, all these, like I've been giving to the to the yard all the time at 10 cents a pound and they just kind of look at you and squawk and stuff but still they got a pound of copper you know and they got steel the steel's worth really worth 10 cents a pound but you know you, you end up throwing in a tin so I'm gonna be stripping all these as long as they're copper on both sides uh, on one side you know both sides is a bonus you're getting double the weight you're getting two pounds and now we'll turn a, a 70 cents transformer into let's see so so say two pounds at six dollars uh six dollars and say 40 cents almost versus getting only that they may pay a little more they might pay 15 cents right you know you tell you say okay you know 15 cents uh another person said the copper transfers would pay 25 cents so okay, say at twenty five cents, I got six dollars and forty cents. At twenty five cents, it would be seven pounds. Would be you know uh, what a buck fifty, I guess, right? No, buck seventy five or something, right? Yeah, so buck seventy five, and I'm still getting six forty. I'm still making more money taking it apart. So if you have the means to take it apart, long as you have a sole surface, ideally cement, not wood. Wood is too bouncy, absorbs the, the shock. Black top's okay too, but if you had a heavy piece of steel, sometimes counterweights on forklifts, a heavy piece of steel, and you pound it on something solid that doesn't give. But anyways, you've seen it there. Live action, well worth it. You know what I'm going to be doing now on, you know, and like I say, even aluminum, like I say, it still weighs something, right? It's not a total waste, but I wouldn't personally go after aluminum only. It's not worth it. But for half copper... Definitely worth it. Okay. Here's the figures if you want to see.